Welcome to Kicks Gaming. This is Papa Kicks. This is part three of the Daily Maze Hard Mode Guide. Grim Reaper can literally one shot the boss. Keep watching to see how I did this. Skullmaster and Grim Reaper are my only recommendations for new players trying to unlock Insane even if they do not have those hunters, although ideally with a level up shrine before any fights. That's why using the daily maps are important. If you're not on Discord, join it. Every day someone posts the hard and insane maps for your benefit. Grim Reaper has a 10% chance to death strike without any perks. Every death strike increases his damage by 1. This can be improved with the skill Death Touch. With 5 copies of Death Touch, you can now increase his damage by 11 for every death strike proc. This puts him in an elite group of hunters pre-awakening who can infinitely increase their damage. Grim Reaper has everything he needs to succeed in hard mode. He has lifesteal. Not only does he have death strike, he also has death touch, which makes him stronger every time death strike procs. At short range, he has 360 AoE. At long range, he can use ricochet, making all fights, including the boss battle, easier. Did I mention he has death strike? Level 1 hunters will always be hard until you start getting more levels and perks. If you do have them, level 5 will be a big help with 50% more HP and damage until you get a perk or two. Getting lifesteal and even one more death strike will be enough to beat the boss. Watch the tips and tricks video for how to optimize your perks. Level 6 with a good perk becomes a cakewalk. So which skills do we want? Never pick Demon Pact, or damage for that matter. Not only is it wasted on Grim Reaper, he gains more damage from a couple of death strikes, he also has the lowest HP of any hunter in the entire game. Demon Pact only lowers his HP to an uncomfortable level. Lifesteal. While this is the safest perk to start with, you will only have your base 10% chance to Death Strike. It's enough, but the first couple of fights might be hard. Death Strike. Now we're up to 20% Death Strike total, so it will proc often. Just a few kills and you'll see his damage start to increase nicely. You still want to get Lifesteal as soon as possible, but this definitely makes it easier. Death Touch is another great choice. It's only 5% Death Strike, so 15% total, but when it does proc, we get 3 extra damage now instead of just 1, making us much less reliant on Death Strike, and will make killing the boss easier since we will be easily hitting for 100 damage by the time we attack the boss. That's difficult, if not impossible, for any other level 1 hunter outside of Poison. Ricochet. Ricochet makes ranged kills easier, especially in the boss fight. It's not my first pick, but if it's all you have, it's not a bad choice. If level 6 is a cakewalk, level 10 is a cakewalk you can do blindfolded. Mostly. If you stand there and try to tank the boss, yes, you'll probably lose. In fact, I do not recommend using the Abyssal Maze trick on Grim Reaper, since you want to kill summons if you need to heal up, and Death Strike procs will increase your damage on the boss. Default perks should be Life Steal, Death Strike, and Death Touch. An alternate would be Ricochet to help clear rooms easier. So here are my difficulty ratings. Level 1. Go for it, but play smart. Level 6. Absolutely go for it. Level 10. A very easy hard mode. Do it. So how did I one-shot the boss? Because I gain 11 damage each Death Strike, I have to get 900 Death Strike procs in order to reach 10,000 damage in one hit. To do this, I had to save and leave to reset rooms. Eventually, I just went to the boss to kill his summons. Once there, I realized the boss summons every 20 seconds, even before you engage him. It became an AFK game of wait for summons, clear them out, repeat. Just don't aggro the boss. If you do, emergency eject. And after 9 hours, you can do this. Just don't do this and screw up your video. Please consider joining my community supporters. Please like and subscribe because YouTube gets mad at me if you don't. And thank you for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Maybe. Papa Kicks out. All of my videos have a free redeemable code hidden in them. Where do you think I hid it in this video? In the last video, the code was the name of my Bluestacks instance. For most of the video, it would be main popakicks or main free to play, etc. But for about 0.5 seconds, it changes to the code before changing back. 
Because it was so short, I did put a hint in the video. During a daily May screen, it said May's ends in X hours, XX minutes. I changed this to the timestamp of the code. So it said May's ends in two minutes and one second. The code being visible around the two minute and one second mark, give or take one second. But I'm not sure the winner even needed that hint. Mana mana, do 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 do. Mana mana, do 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 do. Mana mana, do 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 do